Everybody, it's Sloan from Lone Scratch Design. I'm coming by today with another demo for Craspire. First of all, this is how I store my polymer clay. And literally, I've had gold and silver polymer clay in this bag. I, I guarantee you it's been 10 years at least. Gold and silver, it's written on the bag even. So, I'm gonna start with a little bit of gold primo. And yeah, I know I need to order some more, but times are tough. <laughs> oh, I so abused my clay. It's, it's really sad. Alright. Get all the glitter off here. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna slice off a thin little sliver. Eh, maybe a little more than an eighth of an inch. And yep, that's all I do. I'll wrap it right back up like that. And stick it in the bag. Now I do then squeeze all the air out. And seal it back up. I don't know if that does anything, but it just keeps my drawer looking a little nicer. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to condition this. And roll it on a four. Okay, let me explain a little bit. As y'all know, <laughs> I almost always paint, put mica on, s something, put glitter on. I'm using the gold because I do want a gold. I, first of all, we're doing a polymer clay pendant <laughs> with the craft bar. Um, stamps. I'm using gold because that's what I want in the impression, okay? Even though I'm going to put mica over the surface, I hope that makes sense. It's going to be gold either way. Okay, so I'm just going to condition this, like I said, and then roll it out on a fork, and I'll be right back. Okay, just a little bit about conditioning um, metallic polymer clay. You see how streaky it is. That is because when you cut the block, all of the mica particles are running the same way in the block. Okay, so you cut it and then you start to condition it. Now, the mica particles in the clay are running different directions. What I'm trying to say is, it's not fully conditioned yet. So just keep going, okay? So I'm going to keep running this through until it has a more uniform look. Okay, now hopefully you can see a little bit better what I'm talking about. It's much more of a uniform color. Alright, I'm just going to run it through one more time. I had I had picked up a little piece of gold polymer clay and I can see it right there even though it's mashed down and really and truly run through there, I can still see it. Okay, I'm just going to take this um, 
I believe it was by Sculpey. I've had it for... Uh -oh, I can't even say how many years. I've had it a long time. I don't think I've ever used it. <laughs> so, I'm just... It, it will just put a really light impression. Okay, and I know... I know people spray their stuff with water it's, I, I just don't ever have a problem with it it may be um, partly just because I live in Texas it's really dry here well, it's really dry here till it's not uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure because really and truly this is not a deep impression at all okay now we're gonna open the crash buyer and I'm gonna use this one take the handle Sorry, I didn't have this all out and ready already. Ready already. Okay. This one is the all seeing eye. Okay. Now I'm going to impress the clay. And hopefully, <laughs> this will go deeper than that surrounding. So, I wanted to point out how the clay had the uh, lines on it from being conditioned and rolled through the pasta machine over and over again. I don't ever worry about that. Because, like, right away, after I impressed that, they're gone. Okay, so let's see. I'll try to go. Maybe like that. Maybe like that. I was trying to figure out where amongst the grid. I wanted to stamp that. In other words, what area of the grid did I want to be on the pendant? Okay, so. <clears throat> press. Make sure I press firmly and in all directions. Okay. <laughs> okay now if I can find them let's see I'm so ill prepared today I'm filming anything at all if you want the truth really bad day yesterday and Oh, let's see. Hmm, I think that is the one I want. But, I really don't think it's the right shape. I really think it's a little more bowed out in the middle. Terrible, <laughs> If you if you um, manipulate your cutters like I do occasionally, look at the cut side, not at the top side. Okay, that may be all right. Now, I'm sorry if you see the top of my head a second. 
to. Now I can move it a bit. Okay. That may be okay. We're going to give it a try anyway. I just got my acrylic block because it helps to um, even out the pressure you're putting down. You're pressing down. <sighs> Talk about nervous for some reason. Oh yeah, it did cut very well. Oh, I love how it looks. Okay, so let's let's, let's do it. Let's go to the mica drawer. Oh, that's a little too coppery. Oh, both. Very nice. Nope, too yellow. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that may be too yellow as well. Alright, if you're going to be difficult. Sorry, I'm very indecisive today, aren't I? Be right back. Okay, I decided to really go out there. This is the Let's Resin Chameleon Powder. And this is the one that's the uh, rose gold looking one. The kind of violet-y gold. And it's really full. Now, another thing I do, I try to keep that foam, um, I don't know what you call it, but I try to keep it. <laughs> okay, I try to pick a fingernail, a finger with less fingernail. Maybe this one. is incredibly pretty. Maybe not the best choice of color. But it's the best choice of color. Oh, that's so pretty. I absolutely love it. It's still gold it still looks very gold uh, i'm sorry i i don't know when i'm turning it the right direction for you and it has that gorgeous violet i'm in love i'm in love i'm in love all right i'm gonna bake this i'm only gonna do it 275 for 30 minutes just because 
it's so thin but um do know i'm gonna do another layer and back it so 275 for 30 minutes i'll be right back i just kept looking at it and uh it kept it, <laughs> it kept annoying me so i've got i don't even know what color it is right this moment i'll tell you in a minute oh yeah Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, oh, I love it. Okay, this... Let me get the lid back on it. Is... Alright. I don't know what everybody's obsession is with doing the black lettering I cannot read it and that doesn't help okay it's let's resin something or other and I think I may just need to go back With a little bit of this. Yeah, just to give it a little extra sparkle. Now, I think I can make it. I'm curious. Do y'all ever do that while you're working with polymer clay? Just midway through, change your mind or add something different? Uh -huh. Sorry, I was looking at it. All right, 275 for 30 minutes. I'm really going to do it this time. So while we're waiting for that to bake, <laughs> I thought I'd do a couple of more. This one is the, looks like it's pumpkin bats, the moon. Maybe some shafts of weed or something. I don't know. Let's just, let's just do it. Now these I'm not going to do a background on. Oh, I'm going to put too firm a pressure. Okay. This one, screw on this one. Now, let's not do this one quite so hard. And of course, I didn't do it quite so hard on the side that mattered. <laughs> Alright, those are really cute. Let's see. This is the side I've got out, so we're going to make this work. Sorry about seeing my head. Okay. <laughs> Those are going to be cute. Again, I'll put these on a towel and... Um, Bake them same as the other um, 275 for 30 minutes. I'm sorry, my towels are always an atrocious mess.
always. Sorry about that. These are just some, you know, generic mica powders. Now, my instinct would be to get a brush, but I know from experience that that won't give me the effect that I want. Because I want the uh, mica powder to stay um, on the raised areas and not um, not go down in the detail. So let's let's go with the blue. And I finally found a gold or gold. Now, because this already had the blue underneath, they're kind of going to blend. Okay. Like that. Now, this one... Um, I couldn't find a good orange, so this is just a super sparkly, um, copper. I don't know what the heck it's called, but it's super sparkly copper. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit down here where the pumpkin is. I love super sparkly copper. Right, I could put that on the whole thing. Okay, now I got this black. Let's check it out. Um, uh, it may be too black. Okay, I've gone with this one instead. It just has a bit more uh, shine. Okay, just trying to highlight those bats a little bit. Okay, but now that I've done that, this blacker black, I'm going to try that just around the outside. Actually, just giving me a bit more what I wanted. Okay, now we'll go back with the uh, sparkly copper one more time. And try to just get that pumpkin. Super cute. Okay. Uh, again at 275. Um, for 30 minutes since these are just thin. Um, 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 um. I don't know why. I can't quit saying that.
super, super cute. These are so cute. But this one, I'm sorry, I kept showing it upside down, but it's skulls on the crescent moon with a little spider hanging from a web. I don't know if you can see that, but it's super cute. So, and then this one is the bats with the crescent moon and a little jack o' lantern. Alright, so. Let's bake these up. Okay, I made a backing for each one. Just a stamped uh, layer of clay. I did put some baking bond in between. With a little jump ring. Baked it again. Then I put UV resin on the top. I hope y'all can see these really cute things. Then this one, I only put the resin over the eye part and left the frame with no resin. Really cute. These would be really nice just on a leather pendant, a uh, leather necklace. So cute as a little pendant. So there we go. Um, the first demo for the Crafts Buyer Brass Stamps. And this was in polymer clay. Alright. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll leave the links to everything down below. Um, uh, my social media links will be listed below too. Um, I do have an Amazon shop, an Etsy shop. All my social media links, like I said. Um, I will leave, like I said, the uh, links to everything down below and the coupon code link. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.